Hello everyone, my name is Jaybird, and welcome back to I Love You, Colonel Sanders, a finger-looking good dating simulator. And, uh, happy Halloween! Uh, yeah. I hope you have a spoopy time. But, uh, too bad this is not a spoopy game. The spoopy game will be, uh, two, two, two days from now. Um, but yeah, with that being said, let's just, uh, load the game. The sixth bite. Oh. If it freezes, then that's not my fault. take forever to load. Of course. Why wouldn't it take forever to load? <sighs> oh. And of course it's gonna crash. Never mind. It didn't crash. <clears throat> Before anyone can relax, cafeteria lights dim. And your rivals enter to make a dramatic announcement. Today's lunch will be prepared. Viet Thai competitive cook-off! The level of the theatrics of these two is off the charts. Then that they stop wasting everyone's time, step and tell them you're on. <laughs> is everything in competition with you two? Mm. Yes. Yes! Well, not with me. I'm on a personal journey. To learn. To love. To learn to love? Sure, why not? But definitely not to constantly battle. Yeah, stop getting your genres crossed. Don't you have some portable monsters to capture or something? I need to eat if I'm going to have the energy to sustain my education and pursue my dreams of being a master chef. Uh. How are any of us supposed to get anywhere for constantly fending off challenges from every know-it-all with an apron? Besides, I already bought my own lunch. Jaybird, you should have it. It will give you the energy you need to succeed. Brought my own lunch. Miriam reaches out and presents a gift to you. My special grilled cheese and tomato soup with chocolate milk to wash it down in the tarty tart like for dessert. Oh my god, it's so cute. Oh god, it's so cute. And it froze. That's okay. Oh god, I have to sneeze. <laughs> oh, bless me. It only takes you about five seconds to eat Miriam's tiny food, but it's just what you needed for motivation. You know what? I've learned enough for today. Let's battle. Just as things reach a boiling point, Sprinkle steps in. Surely he'll put a stop to this madness. Now, now, students, please settle down. This is a lunchroom, not a sportsing court. Finally, a little sense. You breathe a sigh of relief. At least not until we turn on the timer! Just then, a huge light blasts you in the face, flashing the words, Timer ready. Oh god, no! I don't want to do anything! That's what I'm talking about! I stand corrected. If it's a battle you want, it's a battle you'll get! My best can best the best of them! Best believe it! Like a diamond, I was formed under pressure, and now is my chance to shine. I will defeat you myself. Oh God, you had this, you had this chicken, and you made mashed potatoes and gravy on what day one, and you're feeling like you can really impress him again here. It's time to boil some water to pour the potatoes. Think fast. If the timer runs down, you'll be forced to pick randomly. What temperature does water boil at? Uh, it always boils at uh, 100 seconds after you turn the heat on. That's wrong. Ha! I can go back. I can go back. I can go back. I'll go back. I need to do the correct answers.
there any walkthrough that I can look at? Is there any guides? Okay, here's our, here are the answers for this one. Okay. Sorry, it's important to me. Mm. Okay. Okay, guys. This is... We're gonna do this. Cor we're gonna do this correctly. Alright! I said corrected. Answer. That's right, but how would you have even gotten into the school without knowing that? Okay. When it gets to rub my furry belly, let that enticing offer motivate you. Oh my god, I will love that. You're going to need to season this chicken before you cook it. You don't know Colonel Sanders' recipe exactly, but you have an idea. How many herbs and spices did he say use? Eleven! That's right, you might not know all of the ingredients yet, but at least you're heated, headed in the right direction. Okay. <sighs> Tail wagging intensifies. I love it. Now that you've got some basic steps going, it's time to elevate your craft. Uh, gratitude! Uh, gratitude! That's right, you must never take this opportunity for granted if you hope to succeed. Now would, now would be a great time to harness that energy, so where does it come from? The classmates are rooting for you, but Ashley is simply stronger and faster than you. You better pick up the pace if you want to survive. Oh god. I want to live! When you were a child, your father told you to never forget where you came from. Every day you meditate on this advice and draw energy from the Now would be a good to, uh, small town or Jesus Port. That's right. This is your shot, and you're not going to miss it. Aru! You try to shut out the noise of the arena and focus on your on your cooking. What is the sound of success? Silence! That's right, when they taste your cooking, they will be so taken with it that they'll be unable to speak. Exactly. Wow, it actually hasn't been freezing that much. Well, it froze just now. You notice Colonel Sanders out of the corner of your eye. I believe in you, Jaybird. He's actually cheering you on. Which would be awesome, except... Except knowing he's watching you make makes you totally forget what you are doing. Now all you can think about is Colonel Sanders. How many spoonfuls of gravy? Oh, what were you thinking to get your mind back into the competition? Grrr. You are stranded on a deserted island with only one dessert cookbook. Which do you take? Wait, but what am I supposed to answer? What a hunk! Oh no. I know, right? You know what? Shouldn't you be, you shouldn't you be focused on the challenge? You're falling behind. Sorry, I forgot the question, you and Colonel Sanders. <laughs> what does that have to do with crafting spectacular fried chicken and delicate baked biscuits? Woof, woof! I'm really starting to keep up. At the next station over, Ashley has already begun plating elements of her dish. It's colorful and complex. Try to make up time, you toss your biscuit dough into a stand mixer. As you do, the crowd gasps. <laughs> Yikes! Bzzz. I know you love nothing more than seeing a fellow appliance utilized in a kitchen battle, but sometimes that means sacrificing the personal touch. You might not have any hands, but Jaybird does, and a good chef needs to be touching the dough to know when it's properly mixed. There's an easy way and a hard way. You don't get far by doing the easy way. 
When you hear everyone talking, you realize how serious your errors was. You immediately shove your hand to the mixer to rescue your dough before it's overmixed. <laughs> Jaybird, no! But you're not fast enough, and your hand gets stuck. It's immediately crushed by the quickly spinning beaters. There's no way you'll be able to use that hand for the rest of the match. Colonel Sanders shakes his head in shame. Oh, what did I do? What you often find is that the easy way can turn out much, much more difficult. Everyone, stop what you're doing right now. The battle is over. It can't be. I was so close to finishing my dish. Sweetheart, look at your hand. You simply can't go on. Aw, that's too bad. And here I am with a completed dish ready to serve. Surely that makes me the winner by default. No, no, it wouldn't be fair to compare the two on account of Jaybird's injury. You see Sprinkles begin to lick his dying chops as he locks onto the dish. But I suppose you should at least get tell us what you prepared. Well, because I'm the sweetest, I skipped straight to dessert. Under this white chocolate dome, you'll find a, a wide array of delights, taking you on a journey of flavor that tastes good and tells a story of excellence. Uh, oh, he froze right on the what a hunk. I mean... To be fair, I mean, there's no better place to freeze than that on that screen, you know? Oh my god. I love this game. I'm gonna have some seaweed snacks while I wait for it to unfreeze. Do you guys like seaweed? I like seaweed. My favorite kind of seaweed is like teriyaki flavored, but this isn't teriyaki flavored. This is just normal seaweed. Sadly. No. How did I fuck the way open this? Oh, there we go. I mean, yeah, it is pretty good that it's frozen right there. I mean, he is what a hunk, you know? Is there any way I could not get my hand crushed? I don't want to disappoint Colonel Sanders. Aw, oh, it unfroze before I could even, like, even take a bite of my seaweed snack. Too bad, I'm gonna eat it anyways. I think I earned it. Is the way that they melt your mouth in your mouth, melt your mouth. That's what it is. It's sea salt seasoned seaweed. <clears throat> I was going to ask Jaber to do the honor, but since you're injured, I'm afraid that pouring this creamer of this creamer of delicate hot chocolate sauce might be too difficult. I have another hand. Colonel Sanders, if you wouldn't mind lending me your strong, steady hand. Colonel Sanders pours the hot chocolate sauce on top of the dome, causing it to melt away, revealing the ingredients hidden within. Find a delicate fried cheese cro croquet oh, atop croquette atop a slice of honeycomb, ice cream two ways, tender nougat, and pearls of blueberry gelée. Colonel Sanders seems intrigued, but perhaps not impressed as he dips his finger in the chocolate sauce. Hmm. Simplicity isn't your strong suit, is it, Ashley? Oh, you? <laughs> As he places a sauce cover finger into his lips, Ashley leans over and whispers something into his ear. A dab of sauce sticks to his mustache. 
internalize the rage you feel, put yourself between Colonel Sanders and Ashley. Or you're just gonna internalize the rage you feel. Your rage burns so intensely within your eyes that they burst into flames. The flame- <laughs> God. I shouldn't have done that. The flames cause your eyebrows to catch fire and turn to ash and they fall off of your face, which means people will have a hard time understanding your emotions for the rest of the semester, perhaps forever. Embarrassed and ashamed by your poor perform poor, poor performance, not to mention your crispy fried brow, run for the quad be alone. The beautiful weather feels like an insult inside of you, a storm rages. Oh my god. Well, guys. Oh shit, it froze. Well, I mean, it's a good place to freeze at because I'm gonna end the episode. So, that being said, if you guys enjoyed this and like to see more of this game, then leave a like down below, leave a comment down below, share with your friends, subscribe if you haven't, ring that notification bell, and remember, die safely. Bye bye!